Dr. Ashes is here to answer your questions. Uh, question number one from our viewers here. Are kids with asymptomatic infection also building an immunity to COVID-19? Short answer, we don't know, but there is some data in adults that suggests that the severity of one's COVID-19 infection does affect how high or how great an antibody immune response they receive. Mm. Um, but again, the pediatric population, right now the data is kind of being teased out that Below age 10, there seems to be a different kind of presentation and course than kids over age 10, but it is still too early. This is a really important issue because to remember, 40 to 50% of COVID-19 infections asymptomatic. All right, next question. Working from home has meant that I don't go outside as much. Should I be worried about any vitamin deficiencies? Well, yes and no. The good news is, first of all, we're talking about vitamin D3 here for the most part because that's the sunshine vitamin. Um, it doesn't take that much outdoor exposure to boost your levels naturally, 10 to 15 minutes. However, there are a lot of populations that are at risk for deficiency or insufficiency of vitamin D3. Black and brown people, the elderly, the obese, people who don't go outside a lot, even ice hockey players because they do their sport inside. So. A, you can have your blood level checked easily, simple blood test, and if it is deficient or low, you can supplement, but not too much, not more than 4,000 units a day of D3. All right, question three here. Can you explain the science behind a vaccine since many people are skeptical about what is going on in their body? I love this question, <laughs> and I know you guys will too. Uh, first of all, it depends on the technology of the vaccine because it's not just mRNA and traditional viral vectors. There are protein methods. There are a plethora See what I did there? Of course. My favorite word of different <laughs> um, approaches to making a vaccine. But the basic bottom line is it introduces a little bit of the infectious agent to your immune system, not enough to make you sick, but just enough so that your immune warriors can say, I recognize this if it's if it is presented to our bodies again naturally. So it makes all of these uh, antibodies so it can do war on this infection and you cannot get the infection, at least from the COVID-19 vaccine. Absolutely not possible. No matter how many times we say that. But it's still. important to remember. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. Back. Continue to send the questions into Dr. Ashton on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.